Okay, welcome. Let me get me in here so you know there's somebody behind us. Kind of. Uh, the thing in the background behind me here is, you know, a little indication of AI, I guess. So a human and AI, that's the thing with Novel Crafter. But today in this video, what I want to show is how to connect this up with LM Studio locally. If you if you have a com computer that's powerful enough, I guess, with enough memory to um, run a local LLM, even though they're not as you know impressive as the more expensive ones. This is a free option. So let's first, and I don't think it matters about the order, at least I haven't seen it matter, but it might matter. But let's do what logically makes sense first. I'll go, and this is LM Studio, which is something you you can download from their website. I'll put links for this and Novel Crafter in my uh, video description. But you would come here and you know look through, search for these models. They're all coming from Hugging Face as a guff which is just, I don't know, kind of a reduced ability, a smaller, small enough to fit in memory on, what do they call these, consumer products instead of up in the cloud on bigger machines. So that's the home page. You scroll up and down, they have a bunch of ones in terms of, I don't know, what they're pushing at the moment, like Google's Gemma thing, Gwen. Microsoft's Fi 2. You get all these. This one's the good one, the Mistral 7B Instruct. I found that to be okay. None of these will write, but they all, even a, where is it, Tiny Llama, if you wanted to just play. There's one called Tiny, or it was here. You have to look for it or search for it up here in the find. But it's really small, and this might be small enough to Google one. But they all seem to know about writing. Now, can they write? Uh, I don't think so. Not very well, anyway. So let me move some boxes out of the way so I can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, I see now. And I'll sh this little folder down here shows all the models that you've suffered through long downloads to get to your machine and then try out and find they don't always just work as advertised. They go off the rails and get off track. And once you have one, you can come here and load one up and chat with it. There's a previous chat. You get to learn about all these settings over here, like to make use of your GPU. The part that accelerates makes these much faster. But what we want to do today is not the home, not to search. There's another way to search. Not to chat. But we want to run it as a server. So let me select something that I know will load up fairly fast. I do like Westlake version 2 for a lot of things. And you can see this bar going across here. I made my mouse bigger. Mouse pointer. I don't have a mouse, but a pointer. And let's see if it's got all the right things so it runs fast. Yep, it's using all GPU acceleration. It's got 32,768. Sorry about this, some techy stuff in here. But you need a little bit to understand. So that's that model. And everything appears to be good. They give you some examples so you could test it out, see if it's working. Like a curl, some Python, some more Python. Uh, anyway, those are just examples. And you'll see a port here, 5506. That's kind of important to notice because it might change, might not. But I turn all of these on, especially this one that says uh, cores, cross-origin resource sharing, because that's important for Novel Crafter in some way that I don't quite understand. So let's start it up. It's all ready. And you'll see the logs down here. So I'm going to get rid of my, my head's just going to stay the whole time. That's annoying. But 
must go back over here to Novel Crafter. And uh, none of it happens out here, although the prompts are related to talking to the AI. But let's just create a new novel as though you're just getting started. And you want a made-up name, Thin Secret. That sounds good. Create the novel. Okay, so everything looks normal, except you can't chat with anything yet. So basically, you would have to come over here and ignore the three I have, and you scroll down through this list. And let's say we want to add another one for LM Studio. And there's that 5506 port thing. That's important. And you can see already this down here, it has the, uh, the model name, which is always annoyingly bizarre, but that's okay. And I'll just condense it down to Westlake 7B version 2 Q6K.gov, which is also much easier to remember. So let's just call this, uh, uh, mm, I don't know, O2 video. It doesn't matter. Uh, and at the point where you probably tab off, it's probably been saved. Novel Crafter seems to be pretty good at saving these things. So we got that. Now, here comes the next part that threw me. I'm going to collapse the side because I don't want uh, codex snippets and chats. I just want to try out chat to see that this thing got hooked up. Now, here's what threw me right away. I guess I never noticed this button that's pointing to right there, but I did it. Uh, so here you don't press enter to send. You got to click send, or as it says there, control plus enter. Yeah, which is fine. And watch a box will pop up. The reason this box is popping up is the default in this thing, and probably for a lot of people, is to go throw their money up at OpenAI, which is fine. That's, you know, one of the better ones out there for sure. But that's not what we want to do. What we want to do, I saw a box pop up that was hinting that I should have created another connection. But we had already created it. So we go to Select AI. And another thing that throws you off a little bit is, what are we, what are we doing here? What is, what's going on? Oh, I missed the step already. So we'll do it from here because this is how it happened for me the first time around. We go and edit prompts. Now, how do you know which prompt you're on? Well, it does say chat, so that should be a clue. And you'll click on the one that says general purpose system chat. Obviously, you're going to have to do this for all of these. You'll come over and it'll tell you you can't change this. Basically, you got to clone it. And when you clone it, you can give it a new name. We'll just call it to stick with this idea video. Okay, so I guess now it's been cloned. And we'll say, oh, yeah, just to make this stand out, it's not safe for work. And a bunch of these light up because they're pretty moderated. So you just delete them all. Just go down here and get rid of them. You're only getting rid of them for this particular copy of that prompt. So now we add a model. And because we made that connection before, it seems to know this, and uh, that's okay. That's okay as a name. I'll just call it Westlake. I'm not going to talk about these settings that you can do. So again, once I've tabbed off, I assume it's been saved. Okay. So now we can go back to where we were without going back. Just click on chat. So now we're back here, and we still have the problem. We're by default selecting GPT-4, and we don't want that. We want our new thing right here. You see when I went down, there's the system one. And there's the new one we just made. And we're going to highlight Westlake. And then this changes up here. That's important. So we'll do this high thing again and see what it has to say and how fast it is. Now, that's pretty fast locally. This does have its limitations. After all, it is Westlake. I don't know what that, 
I don't even know why they call it that. But let's go over to uh, where we had it. We want to go to LM Studio and see what happened. Now, remember when we started everything up, we were way back up here at this this line right there. That's where we started. And then as soon as we fired up or did anything in Novel Crafter related to prompts or connections, this happened. It went and it asked the server over here, Wes, I guess the server part of this, it asked, what are the models that are available? And it comes back with the only one that's running because it can only do one at a time. It's a bit of a limited software, but you get a lot for it's not open source either, so that's another downer. But you can see it did the request a couple times to get to Westlake, a couple three times, a couple four times, and then a couple five times, and then maybe six times because we, we flopped around quite a bit. But eventually, eventually, we got it selected. That's the model we wanted. And it came back over here, right, this line right here. And it's going to do our chat, which was nothing but the word hi. And then you can see the message and its own little message to itself. What seems to be missing over here is it doesn't show the response. But we got the response over here and Novel Crafter. The hello and welcome, blah, blah, blah. We got that. Now, what you're probably headed for here is various ways to get your story or parts of your story into this chat. And in this case, we don't have any story. We've got empty scenes and blah, blah, blah. So I'll get out of this one and completely delete this novel, which isn't a novel. Oh, now I got to go back. Notice that it does give you some sort of free image for your book cover, kind of, but only out there, not in here. I don't think it's in here. Let's see. No, it's blank in here. Right there is where you'd put your cover. But down here in this thing called Danger Zone, uh, this is where I can get rid of this. So that's what I meant to do before. I end up back here quite a bit from clicking that arrow button. Duh. So let's go into a book that does have stuff that we can chat with. And let's go back to our chat. And we probably have to configure all this again. Let's see. No, I guess not. Huh? It's all still connected. That's good. It must be cached somewhere, somehow. So let's use our context down here. And let's say we want it to tell us about Scene one in chapter one. Now, this is not, you know, any intelligent prompting here. Tell me about, uh, I'll just try to see what it can do. I will type chub one. It may not be able to do it. Nope. There you go. In chapter one of the story, we follow Gaylene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. So then I have all sorts of options. Uh, notice in the chat reply, you remember our codex over here? Notice in the chat reply, when I hover, it highlights. When I tap or click, it shows stuff that's in the codex, which is, which is cool and helpful. Uncle Elmer. I don't remember an Uncle Elmer, but I, he must be Gaylene's uncle. And there he is. He's a retired mathematician standing in the middle of the street reading a book. So I think that covers everything. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. The LM Studio is probably the easiest of the choices to get going. I will flip back to there since that's mainly what this is about. And then once you come back to here, just to end it like normal, you this kind of runs in the background. You can minimize it, get it out of your way, whatever. Check the logs. They get written somewhere. You can look at them afterwards. But let's stop the server.
So now it's stopped, but I believe the model's still taking up memory. I don't know. Probably when I exit, it lets go. But I just deject it anyway. So now there's no model running. LM Studio is basically kind of quiet. So we would go here and quit LM Studio. I won't do it, but that's where I will end this video. And I hope that's helpful. I found it rather confusing, that connection between the two, uh, Novel Crafter and LM Studio, but it's, it's doable and it's consistent. Now, in the next video, I'm going to try to cover Olama, which is a bit more, I don't know, you got to be comfortable with the terminal, I guess you should, I could say. So it's a tad more techy, but not, it's not bad. Olama, they make it pretty easy, too. So with that, uh, where did my thing go? Uh, ah, there we go. I'm going to make myself go away and come back again while doing a piece. Let's see. There we have peace. And with that, I will say peace until the next one. Bye.